Good evening and welcome to the workshop. Prior to this video, I was filing the equaliser bars for my H2 Atlantic, but I did say I wasn't gonna film that because it's not that interesting. However, what I do think is interesting is a bit of a crossover from all those people who uh, joined my channel when I first had my ML7, now my mill, I found the, uh, the joining, the finger joining uh, of the two halves of that machining equation. I saw it cheap online and I thought it was definitely worth picking up. So let's have a look. What you can see here is an essentially unused Vertex BS0 universal dividing head. Now, I bought this contrary to my usual proclivities of only buying stuff made in the UK. Um, this is made in Taiwan, uh, but it's uniquely valuable to me because I have a, a MyFed ML7 lathe. This particular um, dividing head comes with the same screw thread for the chucks that the MyFed uses. So I can mount the MyFed chucks when I'm turning, then directly into the dividing head for, for other work without having to worry about recentering. That is incredibly difficult to get back on, so I'm going to leave that there for a moment. This didn't come with the dividing head. This is my old uh, The Bernard three-jaw chuck. But it did come with uh, all three sets of dividing plates, um, whatever this is which is obviously unused. Um, this is a back plate with the same thread, so I can drill uh, mounting holes for here and mount another chuck onto here, should I desire. This is uh, what I'm assuming is like a dust cover or something for this spindle thread. Um, so if I want to rotate between centers using a drive dog, I can do that. This is a cute little handle that's used to rotate the uh, dividing head when it's unlocked and here is a, a tailstock this is entirely a, a vanity purchase at this point i have no use particularly for a dividing head but psychologically i was thinking this is probably the last big purchase for the workshop other than maybe a, a brazing station um, and i found it online home and workshop machinery which do charge a premium but it's the unfortunate fact is there aren't that many of these Myford spindle dividing heads for sale these days. And um, you've got to, got to get in while again, it's good. So I'm hoping to get this in action on the, the mill. So this table has the gib adjusters on the back. Uh, I need to sort out any slack in there because while the table is fairly easy to move and that's quite enjoyable, um, I'm noticing there's about five of rock in the table this way as it moves to the full extent that way uh, this side comes up and this way this side comes up uh, in a traditional um, use of a dividing head on a larger mill you might choose to mount the dividing head on one side and have it trammed in over here uh, and then only uh, bring it in uh, you know, move the table across when it's required um, because this table isn't ginormous it's only 25 inches or so um, I'm not sure if I can really get away with that. I might be able to shift the the vice over uh, to like this third and have these two thirds for the dividing head. But I think in reality, the simplest option is going to be to remove the vice when I want to use the dividing head.